Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick uh, video about the concept art we've been including with uh, uh, the packages. Um, we're catching up to get them on every package. Um, the whole point of the concept art is uh, if you go to a, a website for uh, for any AAA game, they're likely going to have some concept art uh, showing you know some of the features of the game, some of the characters, some of the bad guys. And one thing when you buy stuff from the asset store from uh, uni or uh, infinitypbr.com directly, you don't get that. Um, you get pre-made characters that may be amazing for your game, but you don't get any concept art to, to show people what you're working on while you're working on it, uh, to populate your website, your Facebook pages, your Steam page, and all that. Um, and so adding the, 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 the concept art is something that I hope helps you um, uh, accomplish the marketing goals um, that many game developers face in the early days before you really have anything pretty to show people. Um, so a lot of the concept art we have is somewhat layered, um, but not very layered because there's not much going on. When you come to like a magic mushroom or a, or a slime, you know, there's not many layers on that character. But this is the devil character, and um, there are layers. In the uh, Unity package, the character has wardrobe, which you can turn on and off. There's uh, different horn options, which you can turn on and off. And so um, when we designed the concept art for a lot of these that have layers in the finished product, uh, we also include layers here, so uh, we've got the body underneath all the other layers, uh, and on top we've got all these, like this is the armor, uh, this one of the horns, and you, the other horns, so you can, you know, take them on or off uh, and make it work for your game, um, specifically. Uh, you can also edit everything, so I actually just got these uh, images from the concept artist, and so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, layer these and add some adjustment layers so that you can uh, quickly and easily change colors and other aspects uh, of the of the images. Um, so this tutorial is going to be a little bit uh, Photoshop heavy at the very beginning. I'm not the best user of Photoshop myself, but I know a few things and uh, maybe if you don't know those yet, then uh, you can learn from me and if you do know something that I'm doing wrong or could do better, then maybe you could uh, teach me something. So let me know on the forums if that's the case. So I'm going to just go, and go ahead and start by layering these all together so that uh, it makes more sense and fixing the, the names a little bit so they're more so they're more clear. So we're just going to call this um, uh, Devil 2. So the first thing here, these two magic glows are uh, at the top and then we have the magic circle at the bottom. That has to be at the bottom because it's underneath the rest of the layer. So I'm going to uh, create a new layer here uh, and I'm going to do this group from layers and uh, make it a normal uh, uh, mode and I call this the magic circle. At the top here I'm gonna take these two magic glows and I'm gonna name this one magic glow arm and magic glow base. And then I'm gonna take both of these do a new layer, layer from groups again, uh, change this to normal and call this magic Glow. Uh, the reason I want to do that is now I've got these in one layer. I can add an adjustment layer here for hue and saturation and bring that down to magic glow. And at the very top, since the uh, mode here is normal, I can adjust the hue and only affect this one layer. So if I want to, I could make the magic more red. Uh, and then I can go down here to the magic circle add a similar thing and this time I'm going to click the button down here for a hue saturation adjustment layer and change that to any color I would like as well so if we bring it to a red I can make that red and so now we've got red magic instead of blue magic the beauty of the adjustment layers versus adjusting the actual layer is that you can just turn them on and off uh, to, to reset it completely or you can uh, you know modify it as much as you want. So if you're going to make a lot of different versions or you want to, you know, you're working with a team and, and, and you want to present a few different options, it's very quick and easy to, to adjust these. Um, for the magic circle here, I might want to add another layer. Um, I could add a levels layer and then, you know, fix that however I see, uh, think it, it looks the best if I want it to be, you know, a little bit more diffused or something. Um, you know, you can adjust it as you see fit. So I'm going to turn these off for now, and I'm going to layer a bunch of these things um, 
I'm going to pretty much layer the entire list here into nested folders so that you can turn off uh, the parent group, turn everything off, or dig down if you want to turn off something specific like just this one piece of armor. Um, and then using these adjustment layers at the, uh, uh, at the parent level under each nested folder, you can adjust the hue and saturation and color and contrast, etc. Of, of, of large groups of um, clothing at once. So I'm going to speed up the video while I do all this. Alright, so now we've got the Devil 2 here, and we've got uh, Magic Glow into its own layer. Uh, magic Circle is going to be down there on its separate layer. Uh, we have the weapons here, you can turn them all off or you can go down and break them down to the axe, which you can turn off by itself, it includes the glow, or the sword, which is only the sword layer. If you want to add glow, you could do so. Uh, then we've got our front horns, all of our wardrobe, which itself is broken down into the clothing right here and then the armor, chest armor, and the right leg armor, and then arm armor. Um, arm, that should be under there. There we go, and then arm armor. So uh, you can turn both of them off or just one or two at a time. So you can break that down however you'd like, and we've got the body there, back horns, and the magic circle. So um, pretty much however you want to set this up, you can, but um, one thing you might want to do is adjust the uh, the clothing, wardrobe, the look at the wardrobe. So let's go to the wardrobe here, and that's all of the wardrobe. So I'm going to add a adjustment layer to this. First, I'm going to make sure it's set to normal, not as pass-through. Uh, otherwise, it will affect everything beneath it as well. And we're going to add a hue and saturation, and make sure that's on wardrobe uh, and at the very top. And now, as I adjust this, only the wardrobe changes in hue and saturation. So what I could do, bring up the lightness a little bit, maybe, and, uh, oops. All right, you can desaturate. Change the hue around. All right, another adjustment layer for uh, brightness contrast. And we can up the contrast a little bit. And one more adjustment layer for levels. There we go. Now if we want you can turn those off and you get back to our default look. Um, or you can turn them on and keep your adjustments. So uh, there's a lot you can do with that. Uh, if we change the hue even more, we can get different colors. Uh, and if you want to go even deeper, you can go down, let's say we want to change the arm armor but not the rest. We can add one more adjustment layer on top of the arm armor. Uh, again, for hue and saturation perhaps. Um, and make sure this is set to normal. Uh, and then go to this and now we can adjust just the arm armor without adjusting the rest of the uh, pieces. So there's a lot you can do with uh, adjustment layers and the best part is that they're non-destructive so you can turn them off and go back to the default very easily and see your changes back and forth. So this is uh, the Devil 2 file and I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna do a similar thing to the Devil Spin Attack here and the Taunting Devil. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions on the Unity Asset Store. I hope that uh, these um, uh, uh, concept arts pieces really help you out in uh, in advertising whatever game you're working on and getting you players way before you even have a, a game for them to play. So, have a great day everybody.